Gut. Also, was ich glaube, ist, dass ich das nicht so My name is Kirsten Bexeberger and I am a visual and performance artist born in Africa. I was born in Swakopmunde, coastal town in Namibia, north of South Africa. During my early childhood, Namibia, back then called Southwest Africa, was annexed by South Africa, which means that up to the age of nine I grew up in a similar political climate as most South Africans, which was called the apartheid regime. Namibia therefore has a history of segregation and discrimination based on race and colour, which has left quite an impact on contemporary Namibian society. In my artwork, Comment, Remark, Notice, Cleaning, I intend to make people aware of this background and how it has created a divided society in the past, but how the current government structure which has ruled for 26 years following independence, has not yet facilitated enough change on a ground level to close the gap between rich and poor. In actual fact, it seems that the gap has widened and not narrowed. I chose to clean the same spot in Independence Avenue for two hours a day, Monday to Friday, because Independence Avenue is symbolic of Namibia's independence, starting its own rule and a new life in a new country. Okay, so I chose to fill the role of a cleaner because cleaners in Namibia are generally um, black or coloured and um, I have a white skin colour. So I wanted to gauge the reaction of people when a white person, especially a white woman, is cleaning a public space and I wanted to see if this would disturb the population that is walking by. Okay, so it was more of a uptown area. It was not one of the poor areas. So it was an area where um, people are uh, generally um, better educated and can think on a higher level. Okay, so issues which I addressed um, or wanted people to become aware of was basically gender. Um, in other words, uh, that most cleaners are generally female and value and payments. So the value of the job and the payment that comes with it on a monthly basis and then, of course, race, the ethnic group, and also skin color. Okay, and the reaction was quite interesting. The general feedback uh, from both black and white communities was that it was very odd to see a white person clean uh, in a public space. Um, we've documented people uh, walking by, staring, standing, staring, you know, walking, looking, looking, uh, looking away, looking again. Um, so there's a lot of of uh, times where, uh, in, in general, um, people would actually they would notice. Okay, so some actually did approach me and asked me why I was what I was doing. So um, when I said I was cleaning, there were different reactions. So some didn't believe that I was cleaning. So. They thought I was promoting a product. They were very adamant that I was promoting a product. So being a white person in Namibia equals um, you cannot be a cleaner. You have to be a step above it. Um, there was a situation where a young boy asked me to buy a blanket. So in general, cleaners earn very little. So uh, it seemed that my whiteness still shone through in the sense that I would possibly be able to afford to buy a blanket for this young boy. Um, I was offered a job. I was asked by people to give them a job. So it was quite interesting reaction. So it was very, it was very um, wise. But I think in general, the reaction was people stopped and stared and asked questions because um, I had a white skin color and that is very unusual in Namibia. All these reactions by people showed how Namibian society, black and white alike, still think in apartheid and in divided terms and very binary. Okay. The interesting thing came through when I started to converse with some people and instead of um, answering their questions, I would pose questions to them. Okay. Like uh, when they asked me what I was doing, I said I was cleaning and um, and you know, to ask them why do you think I'm cleaning, or why do you think I'm cleaning this area? Why do you why do pe why do you think people stay? Why do you actually stop and ask me what I'm doing, where you can actually see that I am cleaning? 
what does cleaning mean to you? Is cleaning equally as meaningful as any other job in society to you? Um, and then reactions and answers were quite interesting. People said they found it odd that I was cleaning because I'm white, which I already mentioned. Uh, they thought of cleaning as an important task, but didn't think it was worth the same as another job, generally. But they said that cleaners were definitely paid too little in Namibia, and that other uh, um, form jobs were paid too much. Um, they thought that a person in Namibia that aspires to a certain standard of living which in most parts of the world is, uh, you know, the low, uh, you know, the basic needs, uh, like um, living in a house, having access to water and electricity, transport, medical care, and a good education. Um, you could not afford this on a cleaner salary. So this, these were the the general um, reactions to it, which was quite interesting because um, that's exactly how it is, and um, I think we often don't think of of that. So in essence, the divide in Namibian society may have its roots in apartheid and segregation, but contemporary Namibian society seems to tolerate a system that exploits the poor. Uh, because we, the people living in Namibia, do not press for better policies that protect those that are vulnerable and to create a better society. It's, um, it doesn't seem to be an issue of race or color anymore, but of um, being too complacent with what's going on.